for an eight rounds of national weight lightweight challenge and that will be followed up by national light welterweight challenge Ibrahim Ademola versus Shegu Adeyemi and then of course we'll wrap things up seventh bout of the night Samuel Akpataroro Moses the golden boy of Ibado boxing will be fighting Wale Roba and Nifaoshe that fight has generated a lot of animosity amongst those two fighters Anifawoshe up from Lagos and Akbata Roro all the way from Ibado. Ibado has a popular area in Ibado called Akbata and it says Akbata Roro. Akbata means the rock. And so we're not seeing the fans from Akbata trooping here you know to see the Akbata because they know it's the grand finale they will be you know trooping into the i can we can see from our back there that it's beginning to you know fill up and i'm sure they are all here waiting to see that man Akbataroro. Akbataroro. i will be doing the main event of uh, the go tv boxing night 25 later on but at the moment we have a sodiko yakojo who will be slugging it out against aziz ayobami after the war that we had we just saw war and I'm pretty sure everyone that saw that bout the top between Victor, Tweedy Boy Bennett, up against success, Alari Waju. You, know, you would definitely agree. You saw, you saw, you saw many of uh, the fans, uh, you know, dishing out some cash to the young man. Yeah, interesting. In him. Just in case you're, uh, a lot of you guys are watching from home, may not know, uh, but we've got people uh, calling in and saying that, who's that young man? Uh, we would love to, uh, you know, give him some money him. in appreciation of what he has done. And this is what Go TV Boxing is all about. You know, bring out those talents from the grassroots, put them on national stage. Exactly. Let's get back into the ring at the moment uh, for Benga Denga to call out the two boxers for the next bout of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, our next fight is our fifth fight for the night. And it's an eight round National Super Welderweight Challenge bout. In the blue corner, weighed in at 59.4 kilograms, Sadiq Golden Boy Oyakojo. And this is what it is. Go to the boxing night. Getting heated up here. Oyako Joe. This is a good in boy. Into the ring now. Now, once again, those kind of names I talk about. In the red corner, weighed in at 61 kilograms. Aziz, let us are your baby. So the arena getting heated up uh, really for Go TV Boxing Night. Uh, this is um, the fifth bout or sixth bout of the evening. I was seeing really, really interesting bouts uh, gone by. It's now to introduce the two boxers and the officials back into the ring. In the blue corner, he weighed in at 59.4 kilograms. He's had one fight. One one Sadiq Golden Boy Oyakojo in the red corner weight in at sixty one kilograms is at five fights one four lost one as this Latest are your baby. Our judges are Ezekiel Babatunde, Sheyi George, and Latif Muiz. Our referee is Shegu Adesoya.
I'm Adusan Alushagu, the central referee for this bout. Obey my commands at all times. Any foul committed will be duly penalized. We touch gloves at the beginning of the first round and at the beginning of the last round. The chief seconds have the right to throw in the towel. If any of you is in trouble, have a great day. National lightweight contest. Sadiko Yakojo and Aziz Ayobami. is 22 years of age and his opponent Aziz Ayobami is 34. Of course, Sodika Ayakujo won his debut against Elisha Williams. Uh, that was in March 2022. That was um, two months back. Of course, it was a third round and TKO and uh, scheduled for making his debut on a Goal TV. First appearance of GoTV TV end of that round. Very explosive round, I must say. Uh, even though not so many points scored there, but uh, so quite a few wide uh, punches going all about the place. But uh, it's going to be a difficult one for them to match what we saw between Orlando Raju Success and Victor Bennett uh, round. You still haven't got to I can't get over there. It's fight. like it's like your breath has been taken away. Honestly, I, I, I must say, it's been a while that we saw a war, yeah. you know, uh, in the ring on Go TV Boxing Night. You remember, you know, he reminds you of those golden days. Uh, he's still golden when you talk about uh, Fijabi and the likes of uh, Otto Boy, Otto Joe Boy. Fijabi was Fijabi. When Fijabi was Fijabi, you know. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, you also talk about the likes of uh, uh, Real One, the Real One. The Real One. And then, of course, the other Real One, Babyface Babata there as well. And then, of course, the Real One, who is from your state, 
who unfortunately is Scorpion. Yes, yeah, Scorpion, Scorpion. And then, of course, you have to talk about another one called the Scoro. But, you know, Scoro. we've got a lot of, of Scoro. You know what I mean? Until the Ugandan uh, man in chain <laughs> came calling. And they broke the chains. <laughs> Good body punches there coming from Latest, who has a, a, a name in scrap, a scrap on his trunks. You know what that means? Ijaya. Ijaya means the fear. Okay, you see me, you fear. Up against the golden boy. Yes, yeah, so. And you know when somebody says, uh, you go fear now. You go fear, fear. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the box in there. Expect the unexpected always. Golden Boy going for the kill that time, good counter punching. Oh, oh. I love this punch for punch. Nobody giving up. And then of course Ijaya stretches his hands out saying, I'm clean. Nothing on me. I would have loved those at the, the trade, you know, to be at the center of the ring. You know? So that, so that nobody has the rope as, as a backup for them. For them. <laughs> look at look at look look at the corner themselves. When those punches come in, they like ducking it themselves. The way Golden Boy, Yakuto is going, he should avoid, uh, you know, just um, running into a punch. You know, he's that kind of punch, a uh, boxer who's not scared to get, who's not yet to be hit. But you know, it can be dangerous as well when you have a very good opponent against you. Really? You know? I like the fact that you're there and you're ready to take as well, but you can't always take. You need to also ensure that you give and you talk. Wow, this is... Serious. Golden Boy catching him with one last one. This is what you call fire for fire. Fire for fire indeed. I like the, the boxing boots of the two fighters. They're looking flashy. Especially Golden Boy with those uh, gold strips. Uh, uh, he's matching his name with his, uh, with his shoes as well, his, his trainers as well. He's matching uh, even his trunk. He has part, part of it in, in gold. Even Ichaya himself has got some uh, gold strips around uh, those black and red uh, trainers he's got. And gloves in gold. <laughs> you know, guys showing some uh, razzmatazz. Golden Boy. Yeah, no wonder it's Golden Boy. And Mr. Sheridan is fighting too. Absolutely. He hasn't done badly so far though. Not at all. And that's the thing about lightweight uh, boxes, a lot of the middleweight boxes, you know. Uh, they're so quick with the way they go about their duty. End of the round again at the two boxers and great uh, camaraderie. Wow. Second round it was. <laughs> and the fans are loving it. We had a two first two bouts. I wasn't living up to the billing, but then the third bout came uh, with Kadima uh, doing a job, an Italian job. <laughs> I do the job against you uh, call it the Ibadan job. Ibadan job against uh, the Emirates. much more experienced Godwin Michael Emirates. And of course, at uh, the next bout, Larry Waju and uh, Bennett took it to another level. Absolutely, and these guys are hoping to take it another level as well. Two rounds gone out of eight that they haven't done badly. Two boxers as the box. Third round of Shadow the Eight. Golden Boy, Sadi, Golden Boy, Yako Job. As is the latest Ayobani, Bani Blue. The punches are coming from Golden Boy. Bobby 
they just moving it all over. Trying to do the stick and move. Oh, big two shots are coming from the Golden Boy, Yako Joy himself. Both boxers are really giving a good account of themselves so far. Oh, good looking right hand from a Golden Boy, Yako Joy. Well, the counterpoint in the form. Aziz, Ayobami. Both boxers are fighting like uh, fighters and know themselves uh, inside out. Was uh, a 34-year-old Ayobami. Lost uh, last bout, uh, last fought uh, against Olami Leko Otoyebi. 27th of February 2022, here in Ibadan. So the one that fight, it's making his debut also, debut appearance on GoTV, Boxing Night. A recap of that round you just saw there, and uh, Golden Boy trying to go for a kill there, uh, but Ijaya getting in some jabs of his own. About three jabs there, but he almost got tripped in the process. Uh, some officials of the uh, 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 sponsors of the Go TV Boxing Night right there, multi choice officials uh, right there, ringside also enjoying the best of uh, Go TV Boxing Night 25. And we've been giving you some of the recap of. Uh, the action we've been enjoying right from the very first edition. And Ralph just told you that he was right here. And he's been right here for 24 of the 25 edition. And I must say, he is my tutor, he's my, my, my mentor when it comes to uh, Go TV boxing uh, commentary. I have been privileged to be here for about uh, 15 of those. And I must say, it's been a very, very exciting uh, time to be here watching some of these young boxers uh, blossoming to becoming big household names and continental champions as well. Oh, very true. Seeing that two of them in the ring. In the fourth round of their schedule eight. Sadiq, the golden boy, Yakuja, punching his opening that time. A good job left half from Albany. Uh, talking about uh, Sadiq uh, Golden Boy Yakujo. Yakujo on the attack and 
and of course uh, good head movement uh, from Aziz Letes Ayobami Interested in sticking and jab and uh, moving. He's trying to stick one jab in that time. I didn't try to go through. Good combination there, but it does. I feel like the tempo of this uh, uh, bout has really has slowed down as the uh, rounds uh, wear on. Uh, we want to see some explosion. And of course, Golden Boy uh, paying too much attention, but the crowd are here, you know, hailing, hailing him as well. He is obviously uh, a local uh, based boxer right here in Ibadan, but uh, from what we have seen so far, I think he needs to throw in a lot more of his energy in the fight rather than trying to respond to his fans. See what's happening in the crowd. <laughs> the fans are going berserk right here. <laughs> we want to see absolutely yeah. boxing. I will see a whole lot like that. Yeah. They love their boxing here in Ibadan. Absolutely. And uh, it needs to be said uh, that uh, the paramount ruler uh, in uh, this land, talking about your state and of course the city of Ibadan, uh, the former Halafi of Oyo, uh, you know, uh, talking about. Uh, Oba Lamidi, Adeyemi, of oh, blessed, oh, blessed memory, passed on. The last time we were here, yeah, last time we were here, he was sitting right behind us. And uh, interestingly, he came into the ring and did a bit of a shadow boxing, you know, before he went back and onto his seat. Yeah, and uh, before that, or is it, yeah, after that, uh, I would have him do, you know, um, a skit, a ceremonial boxing. Yeah, that's true. Out, you know. In the ring. Yeah, in the ring. Those were, the, those were the days. Now, still to come, we'll have those days here, right here in the battle. Oh, solid big one from a golden ball. Oh, yeah, oh big up cut again, following it up. He's on a roll right now, and the Ejaya must uh, put that fear in him. A running into a punch himself. Good one from Ayobami. to be put in properly at dawn, watch us back, doing their thing. And interestingly, like you said, both of them fighting like they 
definitely know each other. They're like sparring partners. It's like they know each other's strengths and you know weaknesses. Exactly. Very good. Good sportsmanship from the two of them. But when they are back for the next round, you can be sure they don't mean well for each other when those uh, big punches are being thrown. to up the ante. Uh, you know, they've raised a lot of expectations among the crowd here. They need to give the crowd something more. They want to see some, you know, exciting punches coming in, you know, some explosive ones. So far, so good. Both of them are clearly able to defend themselves against the other. You know, what you're, what you're looking at uh, is, um, you know, any bout that comes after that war we had, the two boxers are doing their best in the ring, as we can see. Yeah. But then coming after that war, then everything will look good. Yeah, that's the thing. This is actually a good fight, but good fight. But because of what we, our appetite has actually been more than wet. You know, he's it's been saturated. So it's going to be difficult. You're going to have to you're going to have to do something outside the box exactly. for us to really get onto our toes again. And I do hope uh, if this doesn't do it. With still about two rounds to go. The uh, grand finale at Bataroro, with all the noise he's been making, that this is the battle. Remember, this is Sparta. But this time around, this is the battle. So let's see whether they can bring it to a running splash of. Oh, oh here you go oh. again with that. Yeah. You must have loved the, the, the oh, that. I've that that known seven years, like a broken China in the sun. I can't forget that. JP Clark. You loved it that so much at that time, yeah? Indeed. Stop boxing. Stop boxing the referee. How else to the two boxers? That glove, I think, again. It's a, it's it's a warning. It's a warning. Yeah, I think yeah. for the hunting time. Yeah, it's, it, and, and I think from the... He's not... One it's a deduction. deduction. It's a deduction. For that uh, constant uh, step on the, the toes. Toe. Hey, having almost a doing same thing. You know what, Golden Boy has no other option now than to get to that one point back in the ring. Oh, that's a big one there. He's gone haywire right now, but then, of course, Ichaya has been able to withstand him. I think if you ask me, Golden Boy seems to be the more lethal uh, boxer, but he's not been able to express himself as much as he wants because... Uh, Everything is thrown at Ayobami, who calls himself the latest. He has actually eaten them. Quite durable boxes, both of them. Good 
boxing six rounds have gone down and we'll be going into the penultimate round of the scheduled eight of this interesting bout between Sadiq Golden Boy, Yakuja, and of course Aziz Ayobami Colin Latest. Absolutely, and you can see the fans right behind us right here. You know, everybody's chanting the name of their own boxer. You know, uh, Ayobami not able to land those punches there. You can see those jabs coming, but he was able to connect one right there to the side of the head of uh, Golden Boy, who catches him two of his own. Uh, but of course, the other boxer, Ijaya, was able to protect himself from there. That's two good connections there. A left and right combination coming from Golden Boy. And there you go, that uh, glove again being retaped uh, out because uh, the fluid, the sweat and everything else, you know, is making the uh, adhesive uh, on those tapes, you know, become uh, ineffective. And you see the crowd, you know, beginning to fill up the hall. And that's exactly what we're talking about. And they're all getting themselves ready for a battle. Into the seventh round. Might be seeing another round of going all the way. There you have a, uh, mem members of the crowd there. Team Latest, that's his uh, uh, team giant. Uh, talking about uh, Ayobami Aziz. And I, I must say, I think both boxes have got a fair amount of supporters here. And if you can hear the sound, you're hearing the latest. And so that, those are latest fans shouting. Good one too, coming from Golden Boy. Body punch there coming from Golden Boy, but uh, once again dances away from it. Talking about Ijaya, who loves to use that right jab a lot, you know, he sticks it in. And uh, I, I think I've not seen so much of uh, counter boxing coming from these fighters, and I think that's why he's not as explosive as one would have expected him to be. Uh, you know, when you go, when you dip in for a punch, I expect the opponent to make you pay for it if you miss it. And a good connection there coming from the right hook of Golden Boy tries to score it again but he misses and then of course good jab coming from uh, the latest as well. Golden Boy doing a good job that time with that one two. He almost got caught there and he quickly turned his way back into uh, facing his opponent because if he had turned his back he could have had to play he might have picked for it dearly then. There you have it and that's the counter punch we're talking about. Golden Boy tried to go for the body and uh, opening himself up and uh, Natus was able to score a quick one uh, to the face. And that's the back part of it, uh, Ralph. If you're going to go for a body punch, never stoop low to do it. Because you do that, it opens you up. You have to go close to the person. Try to, you know, swing your hand like an uppercut to get the body punches in. Or else, your face will be out there and available. I don't know what Golden Boy is doing. But I don't think he has scored too many points for him to be in that position to be whipping up, you know, the crowd right here. Kojo and black, white, and gold, and Aziz Latest Ayobami, 
the sky blue and the dark blue trunk colors of the two boxers into the eighth round and the final round it is they say come at the man come at the hour this is the round can they do it right now both fans think their boxers have won it this could be the round that could decide where this uh, battle will go tonight uh, who can finish stronger between these two guys golden boy or latest But the movement of latest has really worked for him. He seems to be the more mobile a boxer between both of them. And you can see him dance around that ring, uh, trying to stick in those jabs and look for that uh, quick, uh, you know, hook. And then he will dance again to, to upset the, uh, the concentration of uh, Golden Boy. And it has worked relatively well so far. And it looks like he's, he's looking to finish this uh, stronger. He seems to be the more vibrant of both boxes. You know, Golden Boy looking for that killer punch. Well with a barrage, but not really or not really landing a lot, a lot of it. You see that you see that movement again. Golden boy is finding it difficult, you know, to keep him at his range. You see he's dancing out of those punches. Should do more than dancing. And now it's the golden boy fans right now. You can hear golden boy right behind us there. You know? He's on the ascendancy, but can he get it done? Look at good boxing protection and he gets it. Letters right there, but Letters goes for the clinch quickly. Both of them tired. They are giving a good account of themselves, like you said. Nice footwork. Absolutely nice footwork. I love the way he dances backwards. And you know when, but oh, look at those quick jabs coming from latest. And when you do those kind of footworks, it kind of helps you to gain your, your strength back because you're conserving energy. Golden Boy, surely the busy out of the two shots in this round. He's done well. Two boxers at the center of the ring. I always love uh, to see boxers at trade at the center of the ring. They do see that and are the bout. <laughs> Two boxers, I don't know if they are taking glory already. And the crowd loving both of them right here. Like we said, they are crowd favorites, both of them. And you can see a recap. Nice uh, combination and variety of punches there. But uh, you see that good left-right combination, uh, counter-boxing coming from latest in the blue trunks there, and of course going for the clinch. And uh, it is all done and dusted. It is crazy boxing sometimes. You know, you train for just eight, you train for eight rounds, each round three minutes. And uh, it takes you three, four months to get this training together. And at the end of it all, it all comes down to this, the judges. The judges. And when you leave it in the hands of the judges, the judges will judge it the way they feel. Yep. Right as born. And so we'll see how the judges have judged at this one. And there is the sixth bout of the evening. We're going to be boxing 925. Uh, but then uh, they didn't leave after the billing of the previous fight or so. Yeah, that's what you get sometimes when you get uh, a bout that is crazy. That's taking the whole fan, fans in the hall. And of course out there at home, you know, it takes them to another level. When you come up, you have, you can afford to come up short. But then of course, these guys, like we said, they haven't really come up short. Yeah. But it's just that, that bout earlier was it's about, about it's like an and a <laughs> That's just what it is. All right, go to the boxing night. The decision 
of the fight between Sadiq Godin Boy, Yakojo, and Aziz Letters Ayobami will come right now as we get into the ring. And of course, Ladies and gentlemen, judge number one scores a 68-75. Judge Latif Moise scores it 77-77. George Shay George scores it 76-76. Winner by majority decision, Sadiq. Golden Boy! Oh, Yakojo! Sadiko Yakojo winning this one. It's called the Golden Boy. Expectedly so. I um, mean, it was the boxer that gave more. It was the boxer that needed it more. And it was the boxer that has won the fight against a man that was, um, you know, doing good footwork, but wasn't uh, really landing the punches that would have given him victory. Absolutely, I totally agree with you on that one. I mean, when you when you watch the boxing that we just saw, that the bout we just saw, you agree that he gave more. Uh, and uh, to be honest, very well matched. It was very close, but unfortunately for uh, Ayobami. Uh, he, he had a lot of work, uh, footwork, he had a lot of nice defense, but he didn't land as many as uh, uh, the, the other man talking about Golden Boy. And at the end of the day, he's the one who's smiling to his uh, fans out there. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We, before that presentation, the fight between Sadiq Oyakojo versus Aziz Ayobami has ended in a draw. The fight is a draw because the judges did not remove the one point that was deducted by the referee from Oyakojo. Therefore, the fight is a draw. Oyakojo and Ayobami assist. The fight ended in a draw.